welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of 2020 that I am filming and I'm a little bit excited because I have so much going on this year. I have so many plans. Um, I'm really just done with playing small. So I'm really, really looking forward to 2020. I've got my vision board set up. I've got so many things in the works and I just can't wait to share everything with you guys. I'm writing my book. Um, I think that's the first time that I've ever like publicly announced that like super like official, like in a video, like recorded. Um, for today's video, uh, I know that a lot of people in their goal lists, they want to do a lot more self-care in 2020, which is something that I am a huge advocate for. I firmly believe that we got to take care of ourselves first before we can take care of anybody else. And one of the ways that I do that, like when I'm feeling really stressed out and I really just need a minute for myself, I give myself an at-home facial. So I'm going to go with you step by step showing all the products that I use, where I bought them from. I'll be sharing all the links down below as well, which is extremely tedious, so I'm doing it for you. So, just appreciate that, okay? And I know that I've shared with you guys that I have had a very rough skin journey. Now, I'm good. Also, I have lights on the sides. I have a light behind me and I have lights in front of me, so it does smooth out my skin a lot. Uh, my skin is not this nice as you see. It's definitely way more pigmented. I do have a lot of pigmentation, but the active acne, um, the irritations, the clogged pores, most of that is gone. Thank God to my facialist. I did make a video for you guys on a um, my chemical peel experience. So I will be linking that at the end of the video or maybe I'll put it up here somewhere so that you guys can watch it as well. I go with Jade Marie Baz. She's here in Miami, Florida. She's absolutely fucking incredible. And I don't let anyone else touch my face other than me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this at-home facial. And one of the things that I like to do to begin with is create an ambiance for yourself. So I just took a shower. I didn't wash my face in the shower because I wanted to show you, I wanted to wash it here and then I didn't want to double wash because it's bad for yourself, whatever. You get, so you want to create an ambiance for yourself, somewhere where you feel cozy, wear something comfortable, get your hair out of your face, just relax. And in order to relax a little bit more, I'm gonna grab some lavender essential oil and I'm going to breathe this in a little bit because lavender helps with relaxation. And you can tell I needed to relax because this shit is almost over with completely. This was just one that I had bought on Amazon, so just grab whatever lavender you can. I am rubbing it in my hands. I know that this doesn't have any reaction on my face, so I'm putting it on my hands. I'm gonna breathe it in. And it just like instantly soothes me. Like I'm gonna put it on my robe so I can smell it throughout my facial. It feels so good. <sighs> okay, so let's begin. The first thing you need to do when you're going to do your at home facial is wash your face. So I have this bowl here in front of me and I have some warm water inside. So I'm just going to wet my fingertips Wet my face, just like so. And then I have my facial cleanser. This is the salicylic acid cleanser by SLMD, Sandra Lee. If you don't know Sandra Lee, she is Dr. Pimple Popper. Now you know who she is. So I've been using her products when my skin took a nosedive. I started utilizing her products and I found out that they really work for me. They're extra gentle and now I can't live without them. So this is the only cleanser that I'm using. Um, people have tried to like get me to use other stuff and I'm just like, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. When it comes to your skin, if it's working, keep doing it until it doesn't work anymore and then switch. So I have a little bit of product in my hands. I'm gonna work it in and you're going to wash your face. I had seen, um, so I don't know her official Twitter name, but I do know that she is Nipsey Hussle's sister. And she has a Twitter page, I forgot her name, but it's like sexy chamois, it's a skin therapist, something like that. And I believe it was her, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, I'm talking from memory, and I smoke a lot of pot, so I forget shit. But um, the rule of thumb is to basically wash your face for about a minute. Some people put the product on their face rub it in every section for about 20 seconds and then boom, rinse it off. But these products, these chemicals and all these things that are ingredients that are put inside need a little bit of time to actually work their way into your skin. So I like to count 
or I'll go over my day a little bit and I'll kind of just let this be a moment for me to just massage my face and really cleanse myself. I'm getting a little bit more water. I just really clean everything out. So now that my skin is feeling clean, dipping my hands into the water, I'm gonna take all of this off. Then I have a nice little microfiber towel. These are super soft. And you want to pat dry. You don't want to rub. You don't want to pull the skin of the face. That bitch is fighting gravity every fucking day. You don't need to give her more obstacles to make me look like shit. So give her a break. Give her some love. Now, the next step is going to be using two tools that I have. The first tool that we're going to use is this steamer. So I already have it plugged it into the electricity, so let me just drag it over here. I purchased this on Amazon. I will be linking it down below. I don't remember the price. I'll link it down below. You can check it out for yourself. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks. And it has this little pod, which you pop out. You, you fill it with water, and then you just press it in here, and there's a button. And then you turn it on, and in a few minutes, there's going to be steam pouring out at my face. So I'm gonna leave that right here. And then we have an ultrasonic scrubber. My facialist used this on me and I was like, oh my God, I need this because it looks addicting. So basically what this does is you take off this lid right here and you press the button and it has three different settings, a cleansing, a moisturizing, and a lifting setting. I put it on cleansing and it starts to vibrate. And what this does is it does these little vibrations that go under the skin and they pull out the impurities. So once my steamer is on, because you need your face to be wet for this, once my steamer is on, I'm gonna steam my face for a few minutes. Then, once my pores are open, I'm gonna take my little scrubber and I'm gonna start scraping it on my skin. I'm gonna try and show you all the gunk that comes out on this little pad right here. So let's give it a moment for this to get started and then we're gonna get going. I'm also going to pull out a little hand mirror because I want to be able to see what is happening on my skin. So this is about to start. Let's, let's do it. I think this is my, like the most satisfying part because you get to see all the nasties. I'm gonna leave the steamer on. It was about a minute. I'm gonna put it on the cleansing setting. I'm gonna pull out my mirror. And I'm gonna start scrubbing. have this water in front of me so I'm gonna use that to help um, keep my skin moist let's go on to the nose because the nose is a big one
Okay, so um, I think we did enough of that. Let me turn this off. This, when you're going to clean it, you just grab a cotton pad with some rubbing alcohol and just make sure you disinfect it. So I'm gonna put that to the side because I need to clean it before I put it away. Let me show you guys this monstrosity. Ew, ew, all of that was living inside of my pores. Like, disgusting. So let's move on to the next step. The next step in my at-home facial is going to be shaving my face. Uh, so you've seen this like marketed as dermaplaning, but dermaplaning is done with a real scalpel. This is just a little eyebrow razor, and I don't know where to get scalpels. So I go ahead and I shave my whole face, and this is going to remove more dead skin cells, it's gonna remove any peach fuzz, and it just makes your skin smoother, so like your makeup is going to apply better, it's just gonna absorb all the products that we're about to put on better. So I just have this regular little razor. I purchased this, this one was probably like at Walmart or something, it was like a pack of five, and I start from up here, I tug my skin back, and I just start shaving my face. So I like doing this with my skin dry, um, just because I feel like I can see the results better, like I can see the skin flaking, I can kind of gauge a little bit better. Like I don't know if you guys see here, like all this skin that is bunching up. Do you see that? Um, let me put it here for you so you guys can see. So this is all like little hair and dead skin cells. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this on my whole face. And then I'll show you guys my little cotton swab. So I've pretty much covered my whole face. Let me show you guys how gross this is. Look at that. All of this was living on my face. So, the glad that's gone with. It's so gross, like just looking at this one, what I extracted and what I removed from the surface, like all this dirt, all this gunk is on your face, you guys. If you're not taking the time to take care of your skin, I don't know what you're waiting for. The next step is going to be toning your face. So we've washed our face, we've done extractions, we've shaved our face, now we're going to tone our face. I use the Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner by Ulla Henriksen. Um, this has like glycolic acid, AHAs, and this basically helps you um, exfoliate the top layer of your skin and it helps with all of the marks that I have on my face. So I'm just gonna grab these, a little cotton swab. These have a little pocket in the back. These are from Publix. And I'm going to put that sucker right there and I'm going to wipe my skin. So this is going to give me like another cleanse. It stings a little bit, it's supposed to. Um, it's gonna give me like a cleanse as well as it's going to penetrate the skin to get rid of my acne scars. And toners always remove a little bit more dirt from your face than you realize. So like even though we cleanse, even though we exfoliated, even though we shaved our face, like look at what was still left on my skin. You know? So it just takes out, it just extra cleans your skin. So we've got that down pat. The next 
tool that we're going to be using. I purchased this on Amazon as well. This is a portable high frequency machine. Let me take it out so that you guys can see what this is about. Um, once I pull it out, maybe you'll be like, oh, like I've seen that before because I know all these facial videos are getting really popular and um, for sure you've seen this machine on there before. This is what it looks like when you open it. It has all these different heads. This is the main machine. Let me get it together. So this is the frequency head that I've chosen. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's basically like this little circle right here. Let me plug this in. Let's turn this puppy on. So you want to put your finger on the glass before you turn it on. It sounds really scary, I know. So what this is going to do is it is going to bring oxygen to your skin. It's going to increase blood flow. It's going to increase cell turnover. So I am going to put this all over my face for a few minutes. So you hold it on with your finger, put it on your face, and then release. And it always has this distinct smell. So I'm going to put it on every part of my face. turn it off and now let's go on to the next step I did forget to mention this you can clean it just like the ultrasonic scrubber so I just took the head out so it was in here took the head out I put it to the side I'm gonna clean this with rubbing alcohol as well all right so now that we've done all of those steps the next steps are going to be masks and I say masks because today we're doing multiple um, it's just that kind of day a bitch just really needs it and I want to show you guys the masks that I've been using lately. I have two main ones and then one is going to be a sheet mask at the end that I just keep in the fridge. Um, but these two products, I've been using them very frequently lately. The first one is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Clay Mask. I believe this was like $22, it wasn't too bad. And what this does is it gets all the texture, all the impurities, it penetrates deep into the skin and it removes it. So my skin feels a lot more smoother after I have, after I use this mask. This one it also has like some little beads inside of it, so it helps me exfoliate. But instead of allowing the mask to dry on my face, I'm going to be utilizing my steamer so that the pores remain open and it can really go inside. So let's go ahead and apply this. You don't have to use too much. Um, about that much is good. We're gonna put it all over the face. gonna chill for the next 15 minutes or so you can take this time to read a book you could put some meditation music you can do some aromatherapy you can call someone that you really care about you can there's so many things that you can do listen to relaxing music maybe just close your eyes and relax so many things that you can do in this moment but remember that this is about you this is your me time this is your self-love your self-care maybe do some journaling whatever it is that you've got to do so that you feel good all right i have gone ahead i went to the sink to rinse off that mask because um i didn't want to make a big mess here so the next mask that we're going to do and this one we're not going to use the steamer for this one we're just going to use as is this is the ola henderson fat glow facial um, this has PHAs and Nordic birch sap and what this does is it's another exfoliator it um, Increases cell turnover. So this is what the product looks like you open up and it has a super thick pump I use about a pump and a half For my whole face and this one is very thick uh, I'll show you guys now. It's kind of like a paste so with this one, you have to rub it in for about a minute or two, and it's gonna start turning white, as you can see. It's starting to turn white. So you wanna get that all over the face. We're 
we're gonna leave this on for another 15 minutes and then we're gonna wash it off and we'll be right back the gleam that it leaves on my skin I just I love it so much like my skin just looks so radiant and supple what a word supple okay so let me pull out my notes um, we're gonna do one more sheet mask. I actually have to go grab it from the fridge. Give me one. The second. next mask that we're going to be using, I know we're using so many masks today. This is the glowing sheer apricot mask from St. Ives. I leave them in the fridge because that cooling sensation, like, bitch, this is gonna be really fucking cold, okay? But it's also gonna be really, really good. It's gonna be super hydrating and it is going to leave my skin glowing. So. We're going to open up this mask. And we're going to put it on. Okay, so here we go. And I like to go ahead and start doing everything, pulling it up from the top to make sure that it really just sticks onto my face evenly. I have a smaller face than most people do, so I kind of have to finesse this so this fits me properly. Nice and cold. I'm gonna get these juices that are coming down and I'm gonna put them on my neck because you need those. And then I have this jade roller. This was also in my freezer. Like, it's really cold. I have to, like... And we're gonna go upwards over the mask. And this is going to tighten. It's gonna increase circulation. It feels so good. This jade roller uh, was gifted to me by my best friend. But I've seen them everywhere. I've seen them in the checkout aisles of Sephora and Forever 21. They're pretty inexpensive, but you always want to just keep going upward. So we're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna leave this mask on for another 15 minutes. Okay, so we are going to take this mask off, allow all of this to sink in, and we are finally reaching the final steps of our facial. So, um, while I allow everything on my face to dry, I'm going to go ahead and do the other stuff that I can do right now. I have my list in front of me. Why is this so zoomed in? I have my list of stuff in front of me. Um, when you're doing your skincare, it's not just your face. It's literally everything. So. One thing that I always, always, always do is I put jojoba oil in my cuticles. People like think that I'm crazy or whatever, but I can almost swear that this is what has my nails so long. I do dip, which guys, I just found this color Love is in the Bear by OPI and I am obsessed with how just like clean and elegant it looks like I'm obsessed so I think that's gonna be my new go-to for my hands so I'm just grabbing jojoba oil anything organic any jojoba oil that you can find that is just all natural and I put it in this little bottle with a dropper and I put it over and under my nails and I feel like it makes my hands look nicer. It keeps my hands looking young, keeps them moisturized. It keeps my cuticles moisturized because I don't know about y'all, but I have a lot of cuticle and usually it gets really dry and cracky and I just hate the way that it looks. Like even if my nails are done, it looks ugly. So I always make sure to moisturize and like, a bitch is looking clean, you know what I'm saying? Like if you got crusty hands, bitch, what is you doing, you know? So, the next part that we're going to do while my face is soaking up all this goodness, like, guys, look how dewy my skin looks. It's juicy. I have this, it's the first time that I've ever bought it, and I just, I really like it. I've been looking for a neck cream for a really long time because your neck determines your age, your, your neck and your hands age. So, you wanna make sure that you've got that covered. And I purchased this black tea, 
Firming Corset Cream for Face and Neck by Fresh Beauty. I don't use it on my face. I use something else on my face. I'm gonna show you guys what that is. But I do use this for my neck. And I grab about this much, about this much. Like how the hell do you measure this? Who knows? I grab this much, rub it into my hands, and I bring it upwards, giving myself a nice little massage and moisturizing my decollete, decolletage, decolletage, decollet. I don't know how you say it, but that. And whatever's left over, I put it on the back of my hands because, girl, your hands need all the help they can get, okay? They do so much for you. They wipe your ass, they pick your nose, they do so much. Like, look out for your girls, you know what I'm saying? They need you. Something that I always do as well is the um, some sort of lip balm on my lips. This is the Sugar Advance Therapy. This is extremely pricey, but I don't know what got into me with Fresh Beauty. I just wanted to try their products, and it turns out that I really like them, so basically I'm fucked, you know? So I put on a generous layer of this because we don't have time to have crusty lips. Like I, for the most part, don't have dry, cracked lips, so I've never really had to worry about that. But I don't like the sensation of my lips feeling tight. So I always make sure that I have a balm. I keep this in my purse, and I'm constantly moisturizing my lips. Now, to finish off our facial, we are going to this is almost dry. We're going to apply a moisturizer and an eye cream on top of this. I spoke about this in my favorites last year. This is the Ola Hendrickson Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. It's like a mixture between a gel and a cream. It's pretty fucking awesome. You don't need a lot because it is very hydrating. So I put about this much. Put that on my face and I just rub it upwards. You always want to do upwards. You don't want to tug on your skin so much and you definitely don't want to pull down. This smells so good. It's like citrusy, so it's rejuvenating. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Whatever's left over on the back of the hand. Don't forget your hands. Bitch, if your face looks 30 but your hands are 60, then you're 60, okay? So don't forget your hands. Like, look how like, Luminous, my hands look so luminous and luscious. Okay, last and final step for this facial that has lasted an hour and a half, but it's me time, so I don't care. I have this, so for Christmas, Matt bought me like a bunch of makeup, like he had um, a friend go to Sephora for me and just pick a bunch of stuff, and she picked out this water bank eye gel cream by Laneige, 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 I don't know. But this is what it looks like inside. It looks like a gel. And you need very little because this is extremely hydrating. Like guys, I'm gonna be looking like a greasy chicken for the rest of the day. And I'm not mad. I'm just gonna go be with family today so like I don't really gotta stun on anybody even though like I'm gonna be skin stunting. But you want to go ahead and put this on your under eyes. I can't wait until I have a uh, beauty room because I would I do want to put a little skincare refrigerator in there I would love to keep all of my skincare nice and cold so that when I apply it on the skin it's like extra you know what I'm saying but I place this under the eyes and then I do bring it onto the eyelids as well because your eyelids need love too your eyes are the most sensitive uh, your eye skin is the most sensitive part on your face so you want to make sure all that is taken care of whatever is left over and then I, uh, since this is pretty much the makeup look that I'm rocking today, which, you know, Greasy Chicken is in now, I am going to put on a little bit of brow gel. I did get my brows done, you guys. Everyone, don't freak out. I do like the way they came out. Um, it's just been a while, so like seeing them this clean, I'm just like, okay. I might pluck out this one last hair right here. But other than that, I do like them. So I'm just running a little bit of clear brow gel so that my brows stay in place so that we look all nice and neat. If I had my lashes done, I would look poppin', like a poppin' greasy chicken wing right now. But you know, you get what you get and you don't get upset. So this is my at-home facial routine. This is what I do when I just feel like I need a little bit of love for myself when I need some me time. Also, skincare for me is extremely important, especially after the disaster of 2019. 
So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm not an esthetician, so always, always, always ask your esthetician before doing any of this. But I did just want to share the products that I use and where I got them from and whatnot. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope you guys take the time to re-energize yourself, take the time to invigorate yourself, treat yourself, love yourself, talk to yourself kindly. 2020, we're not doing none of that 2019 foolishness, okay? No one's having a bad 2020, even though shit has started off crazy. Australia's on fire, Jakarta's underwater, Puerto Rico's having earthquakes, which I was there last week, it was fucking insane. Um, we just need to all come together and be kind to ourselves so that we can be kind to others because right now that is what this world needs so i hope that little tiny steps like this a little bit of self-love a little bit of self-care a little bit of skincare and meditation and aromatherapy all of these can just ease our minds a little bit and in turn we can ease the mind of the world so i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you next time peace out bitches. Yeah.